disgruntledduck.com. So I'm super excited about this one. It's the um, little tugboat. I think there's going to be a lot of work done on this. Um, it's a simple one, but like stuff like this, see the ropes. Um, they've all got to come off because they look, I was just saying, they look absolute pony. Um, so I think there's going to be a lot of filling in uh, to make this look good. A lot of sanding, I can see casting marks everywhere and things like things like these marks on this side. I don't know if you can, if that's focusing enough. Um, but they're all going to have to go. So yeah, I'm going to start start cracking on with a little bit of this and see how it looks. So everything's been sanded off the top now. Uh, needs to do a tiny little bit of filling afterwards, and I've married up the deck and the uh, the hole. So let that dry off, and I can get to work on these side panels, sanding them down. Now here we go. A little bit of sanding, shaved off all those little marks and lines. Same on the inside. So now yeah, we can start making this boat up. So right, sides are on. I'm let that one set up and get working on the cabin. So so far so good. Probably a couple of hours into it now. So it's quite a bit of sanding to do. But uh, this is looking uh, starting to look like a boat anyway. So this is the annoying thing on this one. So it's taken me about two hours to clean all these up. The flash on this was ridiculous. Um, just to show you, all right. So that they're supposed to be uh, well holes in all of them. So you can see from the back, it's completely filled in. So there's only a couple that you can see through. So luckily, I've got a little drill bit, but I'm gonna have to go through and redraw every one of those holes to uh, yeah, get them back to as they were. So, uh, they've been poked through. So if I actually put it up to the light, you can actually see through it now. Um, I'm probably gonna have to do some more poking when it's been painted. I need to clean it up a bit, but yeah, definitely, uh, definitely worth doing that. So I've painted, um, painted up the boat and I've painted some green on there, but I'm not happy. I've used, what have I used? I've used this flat green um, and I want it a bit brighter. So I'm, all I've got left is, I've uh, got some gloss. I've got park green and I've got this light green. So I think maybe a combination of two, because I want this to be a lot brighter, uh, the deck on this. Um, so yeah, we're gonna mix them up, respray this, and hopefully I get a nice bright green. Um, yeah, nice bright green on that. So just getting a little bit of work done on the tugboat. Um, just trying to paint in some of these more detailed bits on the side of it. Uh, quite fiddly, so some touching up's gonna need to be done. But uh, yeah, at least we've made a start on that now. So as you can see, I've painted most of the lower part of the cabin. Um, I've got to be honest, I'm not massively happy with how it's turned out. I don't know if that's me or the model. Um, I think if I was to do this again, I would definitely remove these pipes, the hose, uh, these axes and scratch build those. Um, hoping in the weathering stage, that's going to come out looking a lot better. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, onto the hole. So... I've painted the inside, touched up a bit, I'm brush paint all this, I'm not massively bothered about that little bit of uh, over painting then, as you can see like there, and it's going to be washed, so uh, I don't think these things would have been, you know, it's going to be hand painted anyway, I don't think these things are going to be absolutely perfect. Um, on the outside, I think I'm lacking something, so I'm thinking about painting in these ridges, uh, I think I'm going to spray these white, so that's going to be next job. I'm going to mask this off and have a little paint of those. So all that's masked off now. I'm going to give that a coat of white. Hopefully that's going to make this pop a little bit more, so uh, fingers crossed. So there we go. I'm actually quite happy with that. That really makes that hole look a lot better. By the time that's weathered in, touched up a little bit, I think that's going to look uh, pretty good. So I've got the final parts of the build laid out. I'm just going to give them a quick spray with some white and start putting the rest of this guy together, I think. So the cabins are coming together. We've got all these little windows in here. Um, I don't actually have, there's no, no clear plastic comes with it and it's quite a lot of windows. So what I'm going to use, also got some on here. And I'm going to try this stuff out, glue and glaze. So I've used this to fit canopies and bits and pieces before, but you're also supposed to be able to make small windows with it. So uh, yeah, let's see if this does what it says. So 
as you can see that glue and glaze is sealed up and it's created these lovely little windows um, so yeah back to the main part of the model it's oh, it's an absolutely horrible fit nothing about this goes together nicely so it's a lot of fiddling around there's a lot of touching up with paint afterwards but we're gonna get there with this one in the end so we've got the first little bit of weathering done it's a little brownie green for some uh, sort of C1 mossy mold along the sides and next I'm gonna go for a bit of a dot filter so uh, you're gonna wash that down now with some white spirit hopefully it should turn out quite nice right so that is that first wash done um, I'm quite happy with that I think it's got a nice bit of depth to it so I'm gonna let this dry off a bit give it a cut of varnish and start on some more uh, on some rust I think but yeah so far it's looking pretty good so right the wash has been given this a wash now um, and I started to clean up the bottom to take off some of that wash I'm quite happy with this at the minute I'm keep on having to re-glue this is just this uh, rear mast is not working too well I've super glued in this little guy now and you can see it keeps on falling out so I'm going to have to redo these couple of bits um, the holes had a nice wash it's starting to look a bit worn and weathered inside and out so it's a little bit more clean up on that then another coat of varnish and then we'll do our finishing touches and hopefully we'll have a nice little tugboat to show off so it's had a bit of weathering done but I feel this guy could be a little bit more rusty so I'm going to apply a little bit of rust at the minute um, and then see what we've got after that right so I'm getting into the final stages now on this boat um, made it quite rusty actually I put some pigment on so you can see I've added water to the pigment uh, so I'm gonna wait for it to dry out you can see some splatter marks there and then soften it out a bit I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it another coat of varnish um, just to hold this pigment in place and then go over the top of that with a fresh pigment just to give it that sort of fresh rust feel um, definitely some of this pigment I'll clean up because it is looking quite heavily rusted but I'm actually quite happy with the way this guy's coming together at the moment so this one's coming pretty close now I've given it a final coat of varnish so I need to fit um, the lines on the mast and the little uh, what's it called little rowboat rust is looking all right I'm going to go over with a bit more uh, dry pigment on this final final flourish but I'm quite happy with how that's starting to look so yeah this one should be done pretty soon so I've got my rig in on the top of this guy I've just stuck my thread onto the end of the uh, little boat I just got to fit that one on and then yeah this is uh, I think this is done so that's it. Rigging's done. Um, little boat's done. What's it called? Um, can't think of the name of the thing. Lifecraft. Life raft. That's it. That's done. Lifeboat. Yeah, that's done. Just finished off. I've added a bit more dry rust, letting that set off. Um, I'm really happy with that. That has been. It's been a bit of a pain in the uh, backside, some of it, but all in all. That's not too bad a build, so I think get some photos, get some video, and get this guy up on Instagram. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, and leave a comment.